Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys everything you need to know about the new sword emote, the hitboxes, how weird it is, what to do, how to use it. Look, if you got a question, I'm going to answer it in this video. Now, as well as answering everybody's questions about the new sword emote, I'm also going to challenge myself and only use sword emote and win every single event, okay? So, hey, I mean, save the best for last, I guess, right? Because that's the the whole like theme right but hey let's start off with endless block dash and let me show you guys some tips and tricks that i've learned with the new sword emote okie dope let's get into it okay so the first thing i need you guys to know is that if you ever sword and someone is right behind you the sword will miss so uh i don't know if i'm gonna have a prime suspect to try that out on and if you ever sword and someone's right behind you you're not gonna hit them so uh you kind of leave yourself open now another pretty obvious thing is after you use the sword you're like, ooh, you're dizzy or something, bro. I don't know. They needed to nerf it because I guess it wasn't bad enough. And then the second thing is, if someone ever jumps up here or if someone's below me, I will still hit them with the sword. Did you see that? Th I'm glad we got block dash, honestly, because that is absolutely insane to me. So if somebody's down here, like that banana, I could have hit that banana. I didn't want to because I was afraid I would die, but I could have hit that banana even though I'm two blocks higher than him. So this also works vice versa. If somebody's up on the top and I sword, it will hit them. Now, it's kind of hard to give you an example because I have to rely on somebody to jump up on these blocks for no reason. But I've had it done to me, okay? So let it be known. I'll try to get someone right here. Well, I mean, I got the guy to the left of me. They got to be like right above you. Also, a fun fact about the sword, you can use it mid-dive. So, like, if I see an opportunity and I dive and I use the sword, I, I'll still, like, kind of slide on my belly a little bit. And then also, uh, it cancels your little, like, ooh, your stunned animation. So you don't look as vulnerable. So, like, check it out right here. Go for some wacky sword, bro. Oh, well, didn't hit it. But people don't really know what I'm doing because my character isn't doing any of the animations. Let's try to get a cheeky sword. Unlucky. I mean, that's another tip that I should probably tell you guys is even though the sword emote lasts for a long time... Uh, it really only has an active hitbox for like the first half of it. So like if I use it and if somebody walks into me after I've used it, it's probably not going to hit them. Don't rely on it at least. But hey, we're on to the third round. Now the real question is, am I going to be able to win with sword? Get a cheeky sword right here. Oh, that was actually perfect. I mean, I didn't kill a single person, but to me, it looked pretty good. See, the problem I have with sword is if I hit someone with sword, okay, and they get stunned, they're going to be stunned for about as long as me because the cooldown of after I use sword, right? So I hit that guy. We can both move at the same time. Drop down with the cheeky sword. Oh, oh, ah, dude, if that would have killed, I would have freaked out. It, maybe the, the, the real challenge is going to be getting one kill with the sword emote. Wait, low key? This, this is a perfect spot to sword. Oh my gosh! Come on, I at least get this guy, right? Please don't clutch. Hello there. He clutched. Gosh darn it, man. <clears throat> oh, that guy just died. Wait, hold on. It's low key winnable. It is low key winnable. Get a cheeky sword? Oh! Cheeky sword! <laughs> Oh! Oh! Okay, that actually might have been the sickest sword kill to ever happen in the universe. Speaking of, I'm traveling in between them as we speak. Let's go, baby. That's one win. Okay, we got a win on Endless Block Dash. Now let's get a win on Anything Is Possible with only the sword. Okay, now the scary thing about getting a win on this is uh, I don't have volleyball. Cheeky sword! I, I hit one guy. See, I was doing that just to be a jerk in the first place, but I hit one guy. Like, come on. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna sword with eight people around me, I wanted to hit more than one guy. Like, watch. Ready? <laughs> okay, I hit like three. I mean, I fell and I died because of it, but I hit like three people. That was better. Cheeky sword. <laughs> See ya, mom. Hey, mom82415. Hey, peace out. Sword, I feel like, is mostly just a troll emote, if we're being honest. Like, I feel like you're not really gonna get any crazy plays, and I wouldn't substitute it over, like, Punch or Tetris. But it's kind of a fun emote just to troll on. Oh, boy. Another race map. Now I know how you free-to-play players feel. Oh, wait. It's... What the... I mean, sorry. I, <laughs> I had, like, five sentences, and I haven't finished a single one. I, I'm actually so glad it was super paint slide because I don't have ball. I don't have kick. Okay, I'm doing sword only. This is probably the best map we could have got. I was a little scared, not gonna lie, because I didn't have ball, but uh, we made it work. Come on, no. Honestly, the best race that we could have got. I don't think 
anyone can use ball to get ahead of me. So as long as I just play this flawlessly, that was, oh, that was kind of a flaw right there, if we're being honest. We're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're doing good. Now I just need to hit these skips and not be a noob. If I screw up here, you guys have permission to unsubscribe, unlike the video, uncomment, unshare with your friends. I don't know how you're going to do that, but you have permission to. Let's go. Hey, and I use the sword at the end just to prove I'm doing sword only. But hey, that's that's the second win down. That's pretty easy. Uh, sword, quick tip. You're never going to use it on a race map. Ever. I don't think ever, ever will sword have use on race maps. So uh, yeah, there's my tip on race maps. Two down, one to go. This is going really easy. We've done endless block dash. We've done anything as possible. And now let's do race for Eternia. Now, uh, as you can see, we get to this first map, which uh, sword is going to have zero use on because um, it's a race map. But at the end, I believe it's acid splash. So acid splash is actually a decent map for the sword. And since sword has no use, I'm just going to spam my cute little emotes. Yeah, yay. I need the honest opinion from the people, okay? Unbiased. What is y'all's opinion on this map? Because if I had to give my unbiased opinion, I would probably give this map a two. Why a two? Well, let me tell you why, okay? It's way too long, okay? The best race maps are the ones that aren't four minutes long to complete, okay? The ones to where whenever you, you finish the map, you're spectating for a few minutes. Those are not fun, okay? The funnest ones are when you're qualling with like eight other people and you're scared to death because you're like, oh, oh my gosh, like the whole lobby's here because the race map's only 30 seconds long. Those are the most fun. And secondly, okay, the reason I don't like this map is because there's no fun skips you can do, okay? I didn't show you guys it because I want to show you guys how long I'm going to be waiting here spectating. But there are no fun skips you can do in this map. But that's why I give this map a two. One hour later. And there we go. We finally qualled. That literally took probably about a minute and a half to two minutes. Which, I mean, okay, isn't much. But bro, two minutes? I could play an entire round in two minutes. Lost Temple. I don't have ball. I don't have kick. So we're just using pure skill to qualify right here. Elite strat right here. Run across the edge so that the spikes can't hit you. Swag. Get Tetris block for the boost in momentum? Okay, I tried to play it off, but um, I didn't. Just just imagine if some guys took off emotes for a week. You guys would not know what to do. You taunt abusers would be shivering, <laughs> shaking. You don't know the skips to do. Me? Oh, I'm not getting hit by the boulder. I know the skips to do. They should honestly do that. For April Fools, they should disable every single taunt, every emote, everything. Sword! Okay, can we talk about that? How'd that sword not hit? Sword! There we go. There we go, SpongeBob. Hey, back to the lobby, SpongeBob. Let's see if I can hit him again. Oh, shoot! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that, bro. That poor SpongeBob. Oh, my gosh. He might have just uninstalled the game because of me. Sorry, buddy. All right, this is the moment of truth. Acid pool. This is where the sword has a little bit of use in the right circumstance, okay? Come on, sword! Oh, you see how that guy was behind me, and so it just didn't hit him? I'm gonna try to get the jump on this lion. Yeah! I said try. I, I, I never guaranteed I would. I said I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get the jump on this chicken. You're actually kidding. Okay, he died, but still. Hey, you didn't give me the satisfaction of my kill right there? I played that beautifully. Oh. Maybe the sword is just a confidence booster. Maybe people see the sword and they just panic and their hands start shaking and it makes them play worse. Maybe that's really the perk of the sword. Well, there we go. I got a win on all three of these. And now time for the hidden boss. I'm going to try to get a win on legendary block dash, the sweatiest one that costs gems to enter. And wish me luck because if I don't get a win, I'm going to spin the mecha T-Rex wheel. Okay, let's get into it. I wonder how many times in my life I've started a game and said, okay, let's get into it. I feel like I do that every single game. But hey, for this start game, I'm literally, I don't think I'll sword more than maybe a few times. I'm just going to focus on surviving because let's be honest, 16 players are going to die. You're actually capping. So this guy stands on the block, spits me, kills himself. And then also kills me. That's about my average experience. Okay, let's just spin the wheel. Okay, here we are. One spin. Hey, at least you guys know my videos aren't scripted, right? Because that was a pretty lame game. All right, one spin. Come on, give me the Mecha T-Rex. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. I can feel it. Oh, no, he's gone. I think he's gone forever. Yep. Uh, at least give me the epic. 
Okay, hey, it's a duplicate, but at least I get 10 coins, so, uh, nice. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully you also learned something new about the sword. It's a very wonky item, so honestly, if you want to learn more, just play some custom games with me and my chat over at twitch.tv slash chase the cupcake, or right here on YouTube. That's a shameless plug. Let's go. But I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and a comment letting me know what you want to see next, and please don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot, but I'll see you boys in the next one. God bless, and bye-bye.